Are you guys tired of feeling like you're moving so slow in Modern Warfare 2? Well, I have the solution, but first, let's change them settings up. All right, so look, bro, here go my settings. I play on a nine sensitivity. I really switch between a nine and a 10 sensitivity. If you guys wanna rock with 10, that's cool, but I, I stay between nine and 10. Uh, sensitivity is obviously is personal preference. I don't know what you guys or how you guys play, but here's all the stuff you really need to know. None of this is really important. Um, when I play Warzone, I obviously will pop off. A lot of people don't have that setting on, which I don't understand. And if you want to know, I have aim assist on. That's I think that's pretty obvious. Aim assist type is default. I don't see nothing else as good as default. I mean, you know from all the videos on YouTube, they say default is the best one. But me personally, I tried all of them. And default is the best outcome. But I mean, you might notice other outcomes with your experience. I have no idea. Aim response curve type is dynamic. You know, all this type of stuff. Um, I don't even know what that is, but my dead zones, I think they're on default or they're not. I think I upped it a little bit. So these are 15 and yeah. But these is really all the sins you need to know. You know, uh, copy down these settings. And yeah, and here goes my graphic settings for my guys that's on PC. I obviously, I think it's pretty obvious. Um, everything is on low. I mean, that's just the truth. You know, this game is optimized pretty bad. And one more important setting to have faster movement in this game, you need a 120 FOV. I don't know why with the other FOVs you feel like you move so freaking slow, but that's just the way it is. All right, so this is how I move fast because a lot of people ask. First off, you want to start out with the macro. I don't know. I feel like it helps me move fast. I don't know. I think it helps me move fast. If you don't know how to set up a macro, um, look it up on YouTube. And it's so much easier if you set up a macro with the uh, Elite controller, Scuff controller. As you can see, I have one paddle. I play with one paddle because this is the paddle I macro with. Other than that, outside of that, if you don't know how to macro or you just can't do it or whatever the case may be, you don't need an elite controller to move how I move besides the macro, um, which is really, really, you know, it's really, really good for me, but might not be for you. All right, another move you can use is slide. You know how to utilize this slide is really, really OP. If you slide and then jump, it's really, really, really hard. I mean, it's hard to go against it. Um, people do it all the time. And jump shot is really good in this game. Um, you know, see how I jump that corner? You jump, if you, especially when you jump in corners, it ain't like that. It's really, really overpowered. Or say you have an enemy you like right in front of you. You jump, shoot, they hit you a lot, and then you run back, and then you shoot, you're probably gonna win the gunfight. Um, that's what I've noticed. Or I do like this, and I uh, that, and then take out the enemy. I mean, it's all type of ways and all type of um, different gunfights or different moves to win different gunfights. But I mean, I honestly prefer doing it like that. Another thing that helps with movement is knowing the map because when you know the map, you can play aggressive, and that's not me macroing right there. That's just me spamming Y. You can play a super, super aggressive. You guys see my gameplay. I play super aggressive. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm just pushing because I know the map, like, the back of my hand. Um, another thing that comes with movement is, like, gameplay. You see how fast I'm moving because I know, like, I know when they're spawning, you know. Just, just knowing the map is, like your biggest concern when we're talking about movement. Um, knowing the pros and cons of yourself as a player, that's another big part of this. Another thing I cannot forget about, my favorite thing personally, when, especially when I'm playing shipment, if you guys know my gameplays, I drop a lot of nukes. I have a three plus KD, all that good stuff, stems. You hit a stem and just, it's like you're, you're off crack, your tax sprint is just, oh my God, and you just hit corners. Slide, oh my God, it's just, it's really good using that stem, knowing when to use the stem. Uh, use the stem like when um, I take a lot of damage, and I usually go to like one of these corners over here, one of those like right there, and I usually stem up right here, come out, you know, right there. That's usually how I go. Another thing that will help you so much, and I can't stress it enough, is having a good movement gun, like a gun that's like really good with mobility, like an X13. MP7 or uh, Lackman sub, any of those are like really good. And you see, I run the Lackman with no, what is it, stock on the end. And it's for a reason because I like the movement and I like moving fast across the map. And you know, I like getting clips, man. Uh, I don't have fast hands right now with this class. You know, you gotta earn it through the game, which is dumb. But 
I mean, this is how you do. You see, I'm moving like I'm moving like this without that. Like, you, you can't knock this. And if you don't know how to macro, I would definitely try to get learn how to macro because it will help your gameplay so much. I'm talking it'll, your gameplay will look better, you'll feel better, and I feel like you just play more aggressive. You can shoot faster instead of just tax sprint then shooting. The macro then shooting a lot faster. So if you guys don't know how to macro, look up a video, how to do it and set it up. Even if you're on console, it's still available because I was macroing on console. You just have to look it up and put some time into it. I'm gonna get you guys some of my movement classes. Um, they're pretty much, all of them have a video to it. So if you want my movement classes, like the tuners, I will link every video in the description. So go down there and check it out. You know, but these are all the movement guns that I use, just like a baseline, a mini back, and you know, the uh, Veil 46. But if you want the class set up, the link to every one of these guns I just showed will be down in the description, man. Click them links, man. Them some banger videos, and all of them have a banger. MGB nuke to it, too, man. So without any much said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I don't do these type of videos often. I hope I helped some of you guys out, improved your movement. Um, Made you a better Call of Duty player at the end of the day. But without any more said, man, it's been your boy Sway. I hope you guys enjoy.